Hola, it's Senora Huey, and it's time for Spanish. Okay, ready to get wound up with your Buenos Dias song? Buenas tardes and buenas noches, huh? Let's go. Buenos dias, buenos dias, ¿cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien, gracias, muy bien, gracias. Y usted, y usted. Now, buenas tardes for the afternoon. Buenas tardes, buenas tardes, ¿cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien, gracias, muy bien, gracias. Y usted, y usted. And for good evening or good night, noches. Buenas noches, buenas noches, ¿cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien, gracias, muy bien, gracias. Y usted, y usted. Ole, clase. All warmed up. Let's get ready with our conversación. Okay, you ready? Let's go. Hello. Hola. What's your name? ¿Cómo te llamas? My name is. Me llamo. One more time. Hola. ¿Cómo te llamas? Me llamo. Let's go. Perfect. All right, now let's ask them. Well, how are you doing? How are you doing? Good. ¿Cómo estás? Say that again. ¿Cómo estás? Well. Bien. So, so, okay. Así, así. And how about not so good? Mal. Let's go. ¿Cómo estás? Bien. Así, así. Mal. Goodbye. You know that one. Adios. All right, one more time. Hello. Hola. What's your name? ¿Cómo te llamas? My name is... Me llamo. Good. How you doing? ¿Cómo estás? Well, I'm fine. Bien. Ah, so, so. Así, así. Not so good. Mal. Goodbye. Adios. Excellent big class. Eh? Now you're going to tell me that you are a girl. First you tell me your name, Miyamo, okay? Miyamo, and tell me you're a girl or a boy. And you tell me you are a student at the Ready Academy. Now right, you should have it down to a size. Now you should know it now. Okay, you ready? First you're going to tell me. Let's start with the girl. So you're going to say you're a girl first, right? And then you're going to say, Miyamo. Miyamo, tell me your name first. I'm sorry. Your name is first. Then tell me that you're a girl. And then tell me that you are a student at the Ready Academy. Okay, you ready? Let's say, Hola, me llamo. And say your name. Hola, me llamo. Soy una chica. And your, your class is muchacha. Sorry. I say, soy una muchacha. But you're a little older than the chicas. All right. Soy una muchacha y una estudiante a la academia ready. Hmm. Got it? Huh? Let's try it again. Hola, me llamo. Soy una muchacha y una estudiante a la academia ready. Got it. Now, how about the guys? Okay, are you ready, guys? You should have you ready here time to study. Are you ready? Let's go. Guys, hola, me llamo. Soy un muchacho y una, un estudiante a la academia ready. One more time. Hola, me llamo. Soy un muchacho y un estudiante a la academia ready. Excellent, de clase. That was perfect. Oh, man. When I see you in person, I know you're going to sound so good. I won't even recognize who you are. Casa de pizza. Now, what season is it? Now, we said the word for season was this little word right here in the corner in the black box. Casa, the seasons. Las estaciones for the seasons. Las estaciones. And this season for right now we're in, we're still in what? The winter season, which is what? El invierno. Try it again. El invierno. Invierno. Try it. El invierno. Okay. So we're in what? What season? El invierno. Okay. Well, then what month? You got it? Okay. Febrero. Hola, febrero. Adios, enero. Hola, febrero. Adios, enero. Hello, February. Goodbye, January. A while back. We heading on to what? March. Ooh, it's coming. Okay, viene. Casa de pizza. Hola, febrero. Adios, enero. Muy bien. So, if it's febrero, it's supposed to be kind of cold. Well, we kind of kind of mixed up right now. So, how do you say you get cold? How do you say I'm cold? What do you say, Class A? Remember? It's the picture, right? And you say what? 
hace frío. Let's go. Come on, guys. Hace frío. It's cold. Whew, hace frío. But now, if it's been warm and you get a little warm, what do you say? I say what? I say calor. I say calor. Cold. I say frío. Warm. I say calor. Frío. I say frío. Calor. I say calor. Calor. Frío. Frío. Calor. Let's go. I say calor. Whew. I say frío. Excelente, clase. Now, let's see if you remember your winter words, okay? Before I start going to some spring words, we have to learn the winter words, okay? You ready? Let's see how many you remember. How about the one for some snow? Nieve. Can I say? Nieve. Snow. Okay? All right. Nieve. Snow. All right. How about this one? Angel de nieve. That's the snow angel. See the snow angel right there? Angel de nieve. Okay, how about the snowman? Hombre de nieve. Perfecto. How about now you have a snowflake? Ah, copa de nieve. Copa de nieve. All right, how about some ice? And it's the same ice you put in your glass or your cup, whatever. Same word, class. Say, H is silent. Hielo. Hielo. Ice. Hielo. Okay, so again. All right, class A, now you want to go outside, but you have to cover your feet up with your botas, las botas, your boots, las botas. And then you have to put your coat on because it's going to be kind of cold if there's ice and snow on the ground, class A. So we're going to say, what well, for the coat? El abrigo. El abrigo. Mm -hmm. And to finish it all off, we need a glass of a cup of hot chocolate. Class A, chocolate caliente. Chocolate caliente. Who likes ch hot chocolate? Can I say? Chocolate caliente. Excellent. Now let's see if you can say the word I pronounce after you. And I'm going a little bit quickly now because you should know these very well. Okay. Let's see. Nieve. Angel de nieve. Hombre de nieve. Copa de nieve. Hielo. Las botas. Abrigo. And chocolate caliente. Excelente, clase. Now I'm going to review things you said you had before. I don't know if you remember all the words, but I'm going to keep going until you learn your fruits and a few things you can eat, okay? So we're going to try some fruits and also a few things you can eat. Like we'll try a hamburger, some french fries, and we'll do a salad today, okay? And then I'll give you something to drink next week, okay? Right now you know nothing to drink this week. All right, clase, let's try the first fruit. Clase, la naranja, la naranja. La naranja is an orange. Say that for me. La naranja is an orange. La manzana is an apple. La manzana is an apple. Las uvas son grapes. Now, I have to say son because nobody's one grape. Nobody that I know, and you either. So I say, las uvas son grapes. Okay? Son means are oh, more than one. Las uvas son grapes. And we're going to do two words for banana. La banana is a banana. La banana is a banana. Also, el plátano is a banana. El plátano is a banana. La piña is pineapple. Or a pineapple, if you want to say that. La piña is a pineapple. Okay. And las fresas son strawberries. I don't know anybody that eats only one strawberry either. I say to you, son again. Las fresas son son Strawberries, okay, good. Let's try the fruit one more time, then I'll go to something to eat, okay? Let's go to one more time. Repeat the word, class, say for orange. La manzana. Apple. Oh, I did it wrong. 
What's this one again? What, what, what? I'm reading backwards. La naranja. Can I say la naranja? Orange. And this is the manzana, the apple. Can I say la manzana is an apple? Mm -hmm. How about the grapes? Las uvas. How about the two words for banana? La banana and el platano. Mm -hmm. And the word for the pineapple? La piña. And the word for strawberries? Las fresas. Now, here are three things you can eat, but I'm going to take it apart. This is one we love, and this is going to be a nice old good cheeseburger, a hamburger, okay? But this one has some cheese on it, okay? So I'm going to say a hamburger, and then I'll say hamburger with cheese. It, some people like cheese, some people don't, so you can go either way. But I'll say, let's say, hamburguesa. La hamburguesa. H is silent. Hamburguesa. La hamburguesa. Now, if you like cheese on your hamburger, say, hamburguesa con queso. Mmm. Hamburguesa con queso. Okay? If you don't want cheese, say hamburguesa. Just hamburger. Hamburger with cheese. Hamburguesa con queso. All right. Now, also, you might have a tomate. That's your what? Tomate is going to be your what? Tomato. Or you might have some um, lettuce. Lechuga. Good. On tomate. Lechuga. And this is a what? Hamburguesa. Muy bien. All right, class And now to go with that. Easy word. This word has many meanings. It means fried potatoes. It means French fries. And it also means potato chips. All right. Las papas fritas. Because they're all fried potatoes. Okay. Las papas fritas. Las papas fritas. Okay. Either one means what, what are you trying to say? Eating French fries or potato chips or either what? There's some fried potatoes. Okay. And then here's a healthy one here. It's good for you. La ensalada. Now, we're teaching the words in here. There are different words. So I'll give you those later. Clase. La ensalada. Muy bien, clase. Now you have stuff you can go and kiss. Mom, uh, quiero uh, una hamburguesa con queso. Mom, I want a, a cheeseburger. Okay, but you have to translate for them sometimes, right? Muy bien. Now, clase, this is also the month of febrero, and we have been celebrating something during this month, okay? And if you remember your classes, you are celebrating Black History Month, okay? Now, we say in February is Black History Month. So you can say febrero. El febrero, because you're making a sentence. I say el febrero. You say in February is Black History Month. Say el febrero. This sounds like you're making a complete statement. El febrero es, is. El febrero is mes de la historia negra. You have that? Mm -hmm. Febrero es mes de la historia negra. You can say February is Black History Month. So you say Febrero is what? Mes de la historia negra. Try it again. Febrero, febrero es mes de la historia negra. Febrero es mes de la historia negra. All right, got it? Now you can tell somebody how, you can say to someone in Spanish, uh, February is Black History Month. And they'll say, ooh, en español, ay caramba. Good. All right, that's classic. Now, we're still in the month of Roberto, still in Roberto, and we this is the month of love, okay? We're going to love everybody as we should anyway, okay? And you know, the scriptures are very short, okay? And this one, yours comes on 1 Corinthians uh, uh, ver, chapter 13, verse 4 eight, short. So you're going to say, love is patient, love is kind. That's it. Acasa de Pita. El amor tiene paciencia. El amor tiene paciencia. Y es bondadoso. Y es bondadoso. Got that? Bondadoso. Okay? Es bondadoso. And it comes from the book of the Bible, Primer, first. Primer Corintios, 13, verse 4. Okay? Try it again. El amor tiene paciencia. Y es bondadoso. Primer Corintios 13, 4. All right, let's read it. Primer 13, 4. Love is patient. Love is kind. Okay, now because it's the month of uh, love and you know it's Black History Month, you know it's the mes de la historia negra, 
You got to give a little love to everybody. Everybody a little abrazo, hug somebody. Uh, if you can't, just throw them a kiss. Beso. But you're going to also say this, Classe. Te amo. I love you. Te amo. I love you. All right. Don't forget to share the love. Adios. See you next week. Ciao.